Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Today guys, I'm out the front of the Sydney, the Sydney Boutique for Breitling. And uh, this is a bit of an undercover vid, but uh, take a look inside there. Absolutely Hubbard, Mother Hubbard's cupboard. It's bare bones. There's no customers, fuckers. Absolutely no customers. Take a look, what's happened? It's dead, it's dead, the dodo. It's dead. And uh, why is it so tough? And the answer is simple, my friend. The answer, the reason why it's so bad is, have a look, how many customers? It's quiet, it's dead, it's down. Sales are in the dumps. Why is it so bad? Everybody wants to buy Rolex. That's the problem. Everybody wants to buy Rolex. See, it's unfortunate. I gotta tell you the truth, but this day and age in wristwatches, the market has turned, the worm has turned. The worm has turned. And what's actually happened is the market is terrible. It's very terrible. There's no customers in the store. There is absolutely no customers. Look at this, salesmen joking with each other. It's, look, look, have a look. How many customers are in store? This is busy, this is busy lunch hour rush here. Lunch hour rush, yeah. crowds everywhere. How many people are in Breitling? None, zero, zilch, zippo. This is the sad thing. It's a dying brand. I gotta tell you, the watch industry is in the worst possible place it's ever been in the last 30, 40 years. This has never been this bad since quartz, since the quartz disaster. And uh, you can see by how many customers are in store, how bad the situation is. It's cactus, absolutely cactus maximus from the Latin. Look at this, look at this huge buying troop. These are Chinese coming in. They all want Rolex, they want Rolex. They're all going to the Rolex ADs. Look at this, these are people from China. They've come here to buy Rolex. They want to buy Rolex. They don't want Breitling. They don't want IWC. They don't want Tag Heuer. No, 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 no. They're all looking for steel sports Rolex. Look at this busload of them. Look at this. Look at this. This is, this is, this is, I kid you not. There's a busload of, of, of uh, Chinese shoppers. They're looking for baby food formula, baby food formula and steel sports Rolex. Steel. Steel Sports Rolex. They're not after Breitling. No, no. So this is this is the sadness that's happened. It's very, very quiet. It's quiet. Look at this. We're, this is this is Sydney. We're we're in Sydney. This is um, right opposite Martin. This is 100 Market Street, the corner of uh, the 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 mall. This is the big flagship boutique for Breitling. It's the lunch hour. People are busy, man. They're getting a few errands done. How many customers are inside Breitling? Zilch, zilch, zilch. Why is that? Because the brand is dying, it's fucked. It's absolutely fucked. The brand is dying, it's just a disaster. Um, what can you do? What can you do, man? It's just, this is the reality. Everyone wants steel sports. There was a, a, a busload of Chinese buyers. They were coming here to basically tourists. They're looking here to, they all want baby food formula, baby formula and steel sports Rolex. They didn't want Breitling. They don't want IWC and they don't want Tag Heuer. I mean, look, is it fair? No, no, it's not fair. Fairness doesn't exist in this world. What is fair? I can tell you, Fairness doesn't exist. It doesn't, nothing is fair in this world. No, I never said there was justice, fairness. You look at what the CCC did to me. Is that fair? Is that just? Is that, is that, is that cool? I had to get the best barrister in the business. Levant Ert, Levant Ert, he's the super, super barrister who helped me. And I gotta tell you, man, it's just, it's just terrible. It's terrible. It's dying. It's dying in the ass. Why is it dying in the ass? Because everybody wants, they all want steel sports Rolex. That's what they want. They want steel sports. This is the Breitling, even the Breitling mannequins board of the brand. He's got a, uh, the, that mannequin there, he's got an order at the AD. I've been told he's got an order at the AD for a no date sub. No date sub fuckers. 
It's cactus, cactus maximus, cactus. It's absolutely cactus, cactus, cactus. Um, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Breitling as a brand is dead, absolutely dead. Nobody wants it. No, they make cool stuff. Even, even Rolex jumped into bed with them in the Tudor. The Tudor, they did a technology swap with Breitling. It's got potential, the brand is cool. The brand is cool. I love Breitling myself, but I gotta tell you, man, what do I gotta tell you? It's fucked. The brand is, is just no resale value. Everyone wants sports steel Rolex. Sports, Rolex sports steel. There was a whole busload of Chinese buyers. These were tourist come entrepreneur come shoppers. They had money. They cashed up, cashed up. And they didn't even blink an eyelid at Breitling. Didn't even blink an eyelid did not blink at all. So what do you say? It's cactus, that's all you can say. It's the reality and uh, it's pretty vicious. It's very, very vicious. It's tough, it's getting bad, it's getting worse. It's worse, it's getting worse. Every day it's getting worse for Breitling. The brand is dying, dying a sorry death. And um, I, I gotta be honest with you. I never said it was fair. I never said this was fair, this is just there's another buying group here. I've got a Korean buying group. Yeah, it's just just how it goes. It's fucked. It really is absolutely terrible. I didn't say it was fair. I didn't say it was just, but the store is empty. This is lunchtime peak hour and it's fucked us. Absolutely fucked us. And uh, the only thing I could say, well, I mean, I don't mind Breitling. They aren't that bad. They're a cool brand, but this is modern day life. The internet, the 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 uh, you know these these youngins, they're just they just they want they want steel sports Rolex. They don't want Breitling. It's, it's just so unfair. I mean, I thought John Travolta was so cool, man. He was cool. He was cool. Steve McQueen, cool. Well, maybe not Steve McQueen, cool, but he was cool. And it's kind of sad. It's very very sad. It's all over, Breitling. Breitling, I give you 12 months. I reckon 12 months, they won't be here for, for 12 months. They'll be getting out of this lease. This lease is a disaster. What do you reckon the rent on this shop would be costing? It'd be costing a fucking fortune. So uh, I'm just Archie Luxury reporting live from the streets of Sydney, the mean streets of Sydney, well, the high street of Sydney. Tell me what you think, guys. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, put some nasty negative comments down below, and don't be scared to um, um, contact me and get a paid review. Sponsor me on Patreon. I'll keep making this controversial content. I'll be reporting the truth. See you later.